good morning everyone today we are going to discuss one of the interesting algorithm in probabilistic machine learning known as monte carlo marco chain this algorithm is also known as the friends making algorithm it's an analogy that is used to understand some mathematical idea behind these uh, mcms so in this session we are going to discuss the four important points related to mcms the first one is concept of best fit that means how to generate a best fit distribution using this algorithm the second point is an analogy of friends making how we create a friend circle of best friends i am going to use this analogy to explain mcms and third point is the formal algorithm that is a mathematically rich definitions of various steps involved in mcms and finally i will explain some of the important application of mcmc in bayesian learning okay let us start with our goal first of all we set our goal what is our goal we are trying to collect only those samples best fit to our belief that is like best friends we choose things with better quality that quality determination is depending on our decision so this algorithm is also like that we are trying to pick those things which are most suitable to us that's all so first of all i will explain an interesting story that is called the marcos friends making story this story will explain you and tries to connect the mcmc algorithm with this story Uh, during one session uh, i was explaining this mcmc sampling algorithm one in one of my aml class suddenly a student asked me sir can you give me a simple example or a simple analogy to explain this algorithm because it is too much mathematical actually for a moment uh, i was freezed anyway i told them uh, this story long ago at the time of mr marco's graduation he is the hero of this algorithm he had only one best friend one intimate friend he has decided to expand his friend circle but his parents taught him that friend should have good qualities like his best friend mr john so he set some weightage to all the desirable qualities that he expected from his best friend he gave equal chance for all students in his college to be his friend that means mathematically the friends the people who are to be friends are uniformly distributed that's all in each occasion he picks each one with whom he has associated and compared his or personal quality with his existing best friend that means he try to compare everyone with his best friend that is a comparison if the new one has best desirable quality compared to the our existing best friend there is no problem we accept him as our new best friend then marco has selected him as his new best friend if the measure of that probability is higher than the present best friend that is the only condition if it is not happened he keep the existing best friend and his current best friend that's all that means he is not at the position to bring that person into his friend circle that is the idea he has continued this process and finally mr macro got a circle of best friends in which each of them are compete for the best friend label that is the interesting thing everyone is best best better than best like that everyone is trying to compete to be the best friend of mr marco there is a best fit model a best fit friendship model to marco later in his research period he has formulated this as an algorithm it is known as the monte carlo marco chain algorithm it is not uh, that much exactly to the mcmc but the story will help you to relate to the mathematical formulations of our actual mcmc okay now we come to our idea we are trying to make connections to mcmc from this story first point is our belief our belief is actually coming from our environment 
the teaching from our institutions with our interaction with the society and lot of things it will condition us to a human being so our belief is very important and based on this we are trying to ask people so this is the basic ingredient this belief is actually a knowledge that knowledge is also known as prior knowledge sometimes the second point is form a pattern to fix good friend how to be select be how to be selected a person as a good friend that is a question actually it is a pattern it is a proposal distribution we say that person should be like this this person should be like this he should have those properties that that uh, that desirable qualities etc or in a single word that person should have the same wavelength as i as you or anyone who ha- who is going to bring uh, expanded friendship okay the third point is assessing a new person as a new best friend how to assess a new person to be best friend it is simply by comparison if his qualities are better than the current person we accept him that's all that means he should have the minimum best quality as my current best friend so it can be represented as a minimum function minimum in terms of probability that's all so the mathematical terms will come to come to role the third point is updating the best friend list step by step that is actually the marco model the marco model is come here at the different different occasions we interact with the different people and we compare with the my best friend and bring him to my best friend circle so step by step procedure comes to our marco model so marco is here then the monte carlo that is actually distrib- that is a random distribution that make us to uh, uh, develop probability distribution from random numbers that is a basic idea in that way we assign some weightage to desirable qualities of each person that is to be our best friend that's all gradually the step by step process bring us a good pattern of selecting best suitable friends that means we practicing this every day on every occasion automatically it creates a habit in you a routine a routine habit in you so this is actually create best friends always you create best friend if you are fixed fixed your concentration all this on, on all these points hmm? okay so we are going to bring all these points into mathematical terms that is our monte carlo marco chain model so what is really marco chain monte carlo marco chain monte carlo method is a probabilistic sampling method which allows sampling from a large class of distributions and which scales well with the dimensionality of the sample space that is a apt definition and it is a short definition for monte carlo markov chain some people call it as monte carlo markov chain and some textbook it is known as markov chain monte carlo anyway we can interchangeably use the terms but but most correct term is monte carlo markov chain that's all because the monte carlo distribution is used to, to create our uh, likelihood pro- uh, prior distribution our likelihood distribution is created with the help of some assessing functions that is why uh, we could call it as Mar- monte carlo markov chain okay now we move on to the formal algorithm it contains four steps don't worry about this mathematics is very simple we can relate correlate our previous points into each steps so the step 1 is from a simple proposed distribution q of is at given is a tau her tau represents the state that means at current state is called tau the current state is a tau up to this knowledge we are going to develop a proposal distribution up to the existing situation we know what should be a good friend what is what is to be a good friend good friend characterized you who is to be a good friend like that that is called a proposal distribution with the current state to so that is a one is a two etc etc is a infinity it will go so on different different states that means different different occasions it forms a markov chain evaluate this p of z is equal to p to t of z by z p with some normalization factor z p for the current state z to don't worry it is very simple idea my aim is to calculate p of z that is my required probability distribution 
the mathematical formula or mathematical probability function that helped me to choose the best friend okay this p theory of office said is based on our belief we know these are the good qualities like that the p theory of office said then i divide p said p theory of office said by z p it is already given that this is a normalization factor see p of office said should be probability so the prob total probability should be 1 that means it is normalized to unity and so we have to make it scale down it is also known as calibration we divide this p theory of office said by z p so it is automatically within the limit of 0 to 1 that is my aim to make it a probability distribution okay so the proportional distribution this is my required distribution i define this required distribution based on by belief with a calibration now we move on to generate a candidate sample is at star that means i am going to fix a specific person and i am going to assess whether he is a good friend for me whether i can accept as my current best friend or the next best friend for the next date like that so i already told you every one in that particular occasion has equal chance to be a best friend that means it should be uniformly distributed that is why this term uniform distribution there the second one is why i choose a person as my best friend because his possibilities or his probabilities for all the good characteristics are better than our existing best friend he is better than by better than my current best friend then only i can expect or at least he is as good as the current best friend so we compare them minimum there is a minimum condition at least he should be as best as my current friend now we come to the term minimization so minimum of 1 P third day of is at star by P third day of is at tau. Is at tau is the current state. Current state probability distribution for the best friend. This is the next candidate is at star and his distribution probability distribution for best friend. If this P third day of is at star is greater than P third day of is at tau, this quantity is greater than one. In that case, minimum one comma greater than one quantity gives one. that means this condition a is at star comma is at tau is greater than u because u is taken from uniform distribution in 0 1 so the probability is 1 uniformly distributed everywhere suppose the new candidate has the probability the eligibility for a good friend or the best friend is very low compared to the existing friend then what happen it should be less than 1 in that case this minimum should be less than 1 and so it should not come into this condition that means i cannot take this z star as my best friend so the new candidate cannot be accepted as a good friend so that means at each stage situation i take a person every person has equal chance to be best friend then i compare his probability distributions for the good qualities with my existing friend if his qualities are as better as my previous best friend at least that means minimum then i will accept him as my new best friend if the candidate sample is accepted then the next stage for the top plus one stage he will be the new best friend that is at top plus one is equal to z star else we simply discard z star we will never look back to him and assign is top plus one equal to z star that means to the next state also i will choose the current or the ex best friend as to be the next next state best friend then also i will take i will make use of all the experience that uh, that i acquired through this assessment for the next sampling that means i update this proposal distribution q of z given is at tau to q of z given is at tau plus 1 that means i am going to next state with the previous experience as tau tends to infinity tau means states as the occasions increases or the number of occasions increases and increases then automatically number of best friends increases so it creates a very beautiful distribution of best friends see as to tends to infinity is a to is almost equal to p of z where p of z is my required distribution so is the required distribution is obtained what is happening here i use my prior distribution or previous knowledge or belief
and also condition for likelihood what is the condi what is the what is the chance to be a person to become my best friend that is the likelihood i'm using the prior probability and likelihood probability i will apply this both in an expectation condition a conditional expectation condition that is nothing but the bayes theorem it will create the posterior probability so this is the main point i am going to emphasize the mcmc is the best fit model it automatically create the posterior distribution so in the case of bayesian models our aim is to create better better posterior distribution for hierarchical learning so mcmc is a better tool for that it will eliminate a lot of other complicated problems a step by step or the markov model idea will automatically update the model to in a better, better one that is why we are using the mcmc algorithm it can be used in many 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 area in uh, bayesian learning so we are going to discuss uh, a few applications of mcmc the first one is it is used to formulate posterior distribution of bayes generative models i already told you my aim is to use better posterior distributions to predictive models that means we are going to create a mathematical equation like y is equal to mx plus c in terms of probability distribution that is my aim that is actually the generative models to create generative models we will we should have the better knowledge about every variable and every parameter involved in the system a whole head of knowledge something like that you should know everything about the model everything about the variable everything about the parameter we got this only with the help of bayesian theory so basically mcmc is a better tool for formulating posterior distribution of bayesian generative models it is used in posterior predictive modeling there is a wonderful idea that we are going to explain bayesian model in future it is used in model based clustering also it is also known as soft clustering we are already familiar with hard clustering or simply a very um, simple clustering models use statistical approach centroid method or db scan like that or k means clustering we can update these models with the help of probability distributions in that case also we can use our mcmc for getting posterior distribution and another important point is this is an effective numerical alternative to form probability distribution actually in the base theorem there is a denominator this called uh, evidence evaluating this evidence is not easy it will not create a closed form solution that integration is not e easy in the sense of analytical sense and i think the better option to avoid this integration and iteratively create better posterior distribution with the help of samples in that area we can make use of this mcmc so mcmc mcmc is a powerful model to develop best fit samples from a variety of a mixture of variety of um, populations okay that's all about uh, this mcmc algorithm once again i told you you should learn all these steps in the exam point of view you simply make use of the analogy of a uh, friends making algorithm there should be a previous previous knowledge or belief there should be a likelihood function my aim is to compare a new person with their existing best friend if the new friend is at least at least have all the qualities of the best my current best friend then we choose him that at least is the minimum so this minimum function is there and also everyone should have equal chance to be ex best friend and therefore we make use of these uh, ideas in terms of mathematics that's all then we select each person by person if he is a best friend he choose it otherwise leave him then we move on to different different states or different different situations something like that then ultimately we get a best distribution of best friends the distribution is actually the best posterior distribution for a particular model okay so thank you very much and we will see the another important sampling method probabilistic sampling method that is gibbs in next video